I am Johnny Massacre and welcome to the Johnny Massacre Show. This is the Friday Night Massacre. On tonight's show, Vladimir Putin justifies war in Ukraine because the bad guys in Ukraine apparently are all Nazis. Who's fucking with me? Give me a hell yeah! So, Vladimir Putin just had a rally in a football stadium to drum up support for his invasion of Ukraine. And you know how he justified the war? He justified it by saying there are loads of Nazis in Ukraine. Loads of Nazis. Right, old Nazis in Ukraine. And that's it, pretty much. And you know what? When I saw that, it made me realize that the left today in America, in Europe, in England, justify attacking the other side, conservatives and Republicans, by branding them as Nazis, right? Donald Trump's Hitler. We need to illegally kick him out of office. Neo-Nazis are rioting everywhere. We need to brand Republicans as domestic terrorists because they're all white supremacists. America's history was founded on slavery and white nationalism. And unless we instill critical race theory into schools, then we're going to turn kids into Nazis. You want to criticize any feminist stuff, any woke stuff that destroys anything it touches? You're a racist. You're a Nazi. You're a white supremacist. The people on the left justify the crazy shit they do in their power moves, just trying to destroy everything and take over everything by branding the other side as unsafe, as Nazis, as white supremacists, in order to justify their attack. And in the same way, Putin is also doing this to Ukraine. He's saying it's full of Nazis, so I need to do some crazy shit and take over it, just like the left do. Is it just me? Am I seeing politics everywhere where there isn't any, or am I right? So, do you want to see the article that brought this shit to, to my attention? Okay, I'll show you over on The Daily Fail. Check this out. The Mail Online. The Fail Online says, Vladimir Putin shows strongman holds huge rally in front of thousands of Z flag waving Russians in World Cup Stadium as he hails success of Ukraine's special operation and calls for a world without Nazism. See, there's Nazis there gonna have to blow you all up to save you from <laughs> from the nazis so this is actually a fucking story in the daily mail and putin really said this and he did it look at the size of this fucking stadium look at it look how many people came out this guy's a nutter bruv absolute nutter so according to daily fail putin gathered tens of thousands of russians at a rally in moscow to drum up support for the ukraine war and in his speech he talks about nazis in ukraine and genocide so he talked about denazifying the region in 2014 and speaking in front of banners that read for a world without nazism and for Russia. So yes, that's what Putin was doing. And I find that a little bit ironic. Don't you? Don't you? Every time a tyrant wants to attack someone, they call them dangerous. You're a threat. Justin Trudeau did it to his own people, right? He called them Nazis. He called the people who wouldn't take a vaccine, who wouldn't give up their body bodily autonomy who wouldn't allow the government to dictate what people do with their own body to nazis he, he called them white supremacists in the same way that putin is calling ukraine white supremacists there's loads of nazis in ukraine fuck man it must be really bad over there do you know how i'm gonna save you i'm gonna fucking bomb the shit out of your country and massacre all the innocents to save you from the nazis so the next time someone calls you a nazi Think of fucking Putin, who's doing the same thing to Ukraine. And just know that they're justifying their tyrannical bullshit by calling you harmful. I hope now all the people on the left who went around calling anyone who disagreed with them Nazis now think again, because those are the same people who are fighting the person who's calling people who disagrees with him Nazis, Putin. So there you go. Putin just held a massive rally, drumming up support for his war of Ukraine, and he justified it by saying it's because of Nazis, which is stuff that people do in the West today to people they don't like, which is ridiculous. 
I am Johnny Masca, and if you're just joining us, we are discussing Putin justifying the war in Ukraine because there are apparently neo-Nazis over there. But if you've been watching from the beginning, stop your grinning and drop your linen, donate some cash, and let's keep winning. Streamlabs.com forward slash Johnny Masca. The more you donate, the more of me you are going to get. Click that link in the description box below and give generously. So finally for tonight, don't worry about that war in Ukraine because Nancy Pelosi is going to save us. Yes, Speaker of the House... 82 fucking years old botox just injected into her face into into every single poor horrible nasty kind of michael jackson 3 a.m clown face coming to lick you up and down it's hard to look at her but she actually has formulated a plan to save us from the big bad putin who we've just mentioned you want to hear what that sounds like well i can't wait to show you and before actually before i show you i want you to let me know what you think Nancy Pelosi is taking? Do you think she's on drugs or some kind of medication? Do you think she is drunk? Because I don't think the lady is sober. Take it away, Skeletor. But they know that we can't go there. Uh, the, the, Putin is trying to bait the trap so that uh, we co go in, and that's the beginning. Could be the beginning of World War Three. Uh, Putin totally irresponsible using weapons that are not allowed under the Geneva Con Convention. Putin, who uh, threatens chem use of chemical weapons, um, nuclear, and the rest. So they know that we can't, but it's the ask. Now, he was uh, this morning more. Let's if we can't have an if we can't have a no-fly zone, let us have our own, and we need the airplanes to come in. No, no, we're, no, no. This morning he was more, less on the, <laughs> the ask for the, um, uh, the policy, more on let us do it, help us get the planes. But also there is a school of thought that thinks the anti-aircraft missiles and the rest are a very important way. Myself, when I see that, that those tanks, that 40 miles of tanks, I'd like to take out those tanks. I mean, I, I think that air co uh, them having more planes might be useful, but that I'm not a, a military st strategist. We hope that we will be able to get up to a place, I hope, you asked me how, I've, I hope that we can get to a place where the uh, MiGs, which are the kinds of planes they've been trained on, can go to Ukraine Mom, Granny's locked herself in the bedroom with a bottle of sherry again. What? What actually was that? This is one of the most prominent Democrats in the world. This is like pretty much the face of the Democratic Party after Joe Biden. She's been around for so fucking long and she's so powerful. And I don't think she really has a fucking clue what's going on. There's like a big line of tanks and oh, oh, I'd like to take out those tanks. But but. I don't know anything about the military. Uh, 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 yeah. These people <laughs> are running America. I'm going to end on a positive tonight. If people like this can be running America, you can be rest assured you can achieve anything. If Skeletor can make it out of Castle Grayskull all the way to the pearly gates of American Congress and fucking lead the show for the Democrats, Trust me, trust me, you can do fucking anything. I've been Johnny Masker, and I tell you what, mate, you better be back for the next episode. Otherwise, I'll be coming around your house. Please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because that is what all those other cunts tell you to do. Layers.